Good luck. <laughs> I know that, like, transport's daring me here, but, I mean, this is what we committed to for today, so, um, I wanted to learn this, but I shouldn't also hard commit to a strategy when it doesn't make sense. So, yeah, this, we're gonna invite the, yeah, the quick attack. All right. Ah, we have mutual Anaguma. Spiffy. Uh, okay. Like I said, I just don't understand. Could have traded bishops and stopped his Anaguma. Oh, well now I read that. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. Um... So, um,
I know I'm being impatient by moving a little quickly here. Sorry if I'm impatient. That's my error. But my concern is that this rook would get blocked and not be able to promote. So I made sure my rook can promote. The downside of this is that I'm giving a piece and they get to attack first, if, even if they don't take the piece. Um, but probably my evaluation is considering all of the wrong factors here. So, I mean, I'd like to imagine that I have a mate threat. Um, it's, there are multiple ways they can block it pretty easily. I don't know what to do. But I thought promoting the rook was important. But saving the knight might also be important. But I don't know, it's hard to pick. I don't think I could choose both promoting the rook and saving the knight. I don't think I had an option to do both of those things. Alright, so... Um, well, we'll put this among our crazy looking moves, but again, this feels right, so even if it ends up being wrong, we're playing it because I don't want to drive myself mad. Um, if I am mad already, well, that can't be helped, but I don't want to do things that could induce becoming mad, so we're just going to play stuff that feels right. Um, oh, that's clever. Let's bring this token closer to the castle.
これより秒読みに入ります10秒It's possible transport. I don't know. Seems unlikely, but anything's possible. I know on Road to Shodan, the question had been raised. How do you defeat Anaguma? There was not a simple answer. Um. That said, some of my recent moves after I play them have left me very dissatisfied. Because after I play a move, I notice some tactical flaw where my move just completely falls apart. And they happened a couple times in a row. And it's just difficult to focus when I know I'm playing mistakes. And I guess the reason it's difficult to focus when I know I've played a mistake is because the next concern is, well, okay, either my opponent actually sees, like, the thing that I just missed and is reading it differently, seeing that actually I was okay, or the opponent is reading something far more significant or they just straight up missed the tactic. Um... And I always fear the worst, even though that does nothing to help me prepare for it. Anyway. Yeah, when an opponent straight up misses a tactic, I have a hard time believing that they just missed it. I don't know why. There is a category on Shogi Wars called 10 Second Shogi. Uh, it's kind of like playing with Byoyomi. It's a bit extreme.
これより秒読みに入ります10秒20秒1 2 3 10秒20秒1234567891秒10秒10秒20秒123010秒20秒1 2 3 4 5 10秒20秒1 2 3 4 5 6 7 10秒20秒1234567891秒20秒1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10秒20秒1 2 3 4 5 10秒。10秒。20秒1234567891秒20秒1234567891秒10秒1234567891 
10秒。20秒。1、2、3、4、5、6、7、8。10秒。20秒 20秒 20秒 all right, thanks for the game. Yeah. Uh, all right, resign counts as a greeting. Whew, that's rough. Uh, yeah, there's no escaping mate at that point. I have no attack. They clearly have a strong attack. Yeah. Uh, there's, a, yeah, at this point, not a whole lot I can do. Let's, let's give them the little hat thing. Okay. Oh. This gave him an easy attack. Or an easy target. Huh. Uh... To say I have no understanding would be a understatement. Here, Rook. Isn't that important for him? Hmm. Yeah, so... Oh. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, like his attack is extremely fast here, so I panicked. Yeah, 
I need to attack because like what happened in the game was sad. Yeah. Yeah, I keep saying this is right. I mean, I say it, but do I mean it? I hope so, but I don't know. I question my ability. But yeah, I need to continue attacking if I want to try to win the game. So, uh, even if it looks lost from the outset, the best play is to try to attack. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I thought some of that was pretty strange. Yeah, here too, uh, this thing. I was pretty sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. I could be wrong. Like, I very much could be wrong. But, like, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could hear some argument that this might be uncle. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's my castle is more resilient than I imagine. Uh, okay, so that makes sense. Okay, so. I see, I had some chances here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, eventually I did play this pawn drop, but maybe I should have played it sooner. <laughs> it's amazing, like, losing heavy pieces is just whatever. Um, I guess it does accelerate the attack if you can give away heavy pieces. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not so sure. This looks extremely scary. Um, but maybe there's something I don't know. sense. Should have taken. Ah. Interesting. Um. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That surprised me. 
I like, uh, well, he didn't take this, so okay. <laughs> yeah. I figured I might as well use the knight if he's not taking it, because it's just a free attacker for me. Um, um. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, this whole thing here. Knight takes 6 5 was very strong. Wow. Yeah, that's. that's a spicy meatball. Um. How in the world could you possibly counter this? Oh, Alexei likes uh, using all the pieces. That's smart. Yeah, this... Ooh. Yeah, that's way more solid. Yeah, if I'd seen this, uh, we wouldn't have gotten that exciting endgame. Alright, let me try to change, turn my attention to this other chat. I was crushing him until I got scared of his rook. Yeah. I have many sume to practice uh, transport. Yeah. Many, many sume for me to practice. So. Yeah, having some general idea of how close I am to mate is dependent upon how much sume I practice. And so, yeah, I did welcome this game, but, like, uh, yeah, in the end game, I do get crushed because I need to practice more. Uh... Hmm. Well, no, it's not strictly Sume, it's also Yosa, it's also like just having knowledge and experience but yeah me panicking didn't help but that's because like i have no idea what i'm doing um It's not like he has specialized Anaguma knowledge, because he in the past we've I've tried to play it and like yeah he usually doesn't play this. Um, so yeah, generally speaking, he doesn't play this. Usually, I've not played Anaguma. I was like, okay, sure, you want to play? <laughs> we can play a game. <laughs> I had some guess about, like, uh, even though neither of us really knows this, per se, I had some guess how this might turn out. Yeah, thanks for the game. Uh, yeah, that's a good game. <laughs> yeah, it's not purely Sume knowledge. It's just more generalized experience. It's not specific to that, but, like... In chess, they say study the end game. And then once you got the end game down, you can turn your attention to the middle game and the opening. That's not how anybody actually studies chess, by the way. But um, that's what grandmasters recommend. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Suma knowledge eventually kicks in, uh, like. I don't know, somewhere closer to here. Like, when I panicked drop this, thinking, you know, I probably made it, I'm still trying to read out how would I even begin to attack here. Like, okay, yes, I should have started the attack forever ago, but I'm still trying to read, like, how the hell do I even start the attack? I don't know. Do I start with the 
token? Do I start with the pawn? Do I start with the bishop? Like, no freaking clue. So while I'm reading out everything on this side of the board, I panic drop this to try to delay this attack so I could have more time. This is a time suji sort of thing, but obviously it fails. Um, also, this time suji, like, this just did not work. <laughs> so I need to just attack. Even if, like, I have no confidence in my ability, I need to attack. <laughs> yeah. So, I think practicing more sumo would help with my confidence and result in fewer panic drops trying to defend to slow things down. Because there is no slowing things down. You just have to attack. So, yeah. Uh, also, like, yeah, understanding, um, here, I had a rook, and I'm like, well, I have nowhere I can drop my rook. My rook is absolutely useless, so let me exchange it for a bishop. But, um, I also gave away the gold, also, like, now my rook's hanging, so I have to give away another move. So, I thought, like, hey, a bishop's great, like, Usually you have a bishop, you use it to target stuff on this diagonal and or on this diagonal, but there's nothing there. So like I just had no idea. But uh yeah, nicely played. Yeah, they're terrible defenders. Oh, I guess yeah, even a promoted bishop's a better defensive piece than it is an offensive piece. So as much as I wanted to have a bishop or have all the bishops. Um, there's just too much. Horses are great defenders. Yes, the promoted bishop, the horse, does an excellent job defending. If only I could get my bishop far enough up the board that it could run back and promote. Um, yeah, sadly that never happened. Even if it did happen, um, I need to attack. So, and... Yeah, the reason I just don't attack is because I have very little confidence in my reading ability trying to mate. And then I know, like, at the end of every variation, I've also got to consider, what if he tries to run away? Because, like, I've not done anything to contain the king. <laughs> so, yeah, beyond not knowing how to break this, also, even if I do break it, that might not mate. <laughs> Whereas my king's going nowhere. That was interesting. Yeah, it's... <sighs> mm. Yeah, I need to, like, discard my bias that, like, running for mate is always easy. And the reason I have that bias is because, like, every time I try to checkmate, the king runs away like, by every opponent. It's <laughs> So... Yeah, uh, running away with Anaguma is quite the feat. Several games this weekend, we've tried to do that. Got absolutely nowhere with it. So I'm starting to realize just what a feat that would be. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, interesting game. Hope we all enjoyed this here. Don't know what more to say about it.